ever thought of becoming a grain miller? Here's Isaac Chege from Uchumi Grain Millers Limited in Kenya. Two years ago, he never thought that he would be one, but now he is. He's a successful grain miller with his own innovations and his own clientele. And this is how he got started. I am a raised entrepreneur. My father and I used to do farming in Elleris. And I was a little boy, and I grew up uh, in, in business while I was doing my studies. And uh, in finishing my studies, and I got a job, and I graduated in actuarial science, um, it struck me one day in uh, 2007, recently, uh, during the post-election violence, and I was at home with my little son. And uh, my father lost his entire property. There's about 30, 40 million of his entire life uh, in business, which had built over the years due to post-election violence. It was a bit of a saddening uh, situation at that point. But uh, when I went to one of his stores and saw how much grain had gone to waste in that particular time, it really struck to me that, uh, look at this, it's going to be a grain shortage in this country. Because as I was driving along to Nairobi, back to Nairobi, after evacuating my family, I saw a lot of destruction in terms of grain, in terms of houses, and I said, uh, with regard whether the, the, the violence is going to stop, which I was hoping it will, uh, but there's still going to be a shortage because people are not going to be normal sustainability of the business. So having combined with my entrepreneur and uh, uh, an eye for market chances, I thought that I should be able to be in a food business. Isaac Chege's passion for entrepreneurship had already started when he was very young and now it has resulted in a successful business. This is our raw material section. Once the trucks come in and we buy the maize from the farmers uh, and the independent suppliers, we come and sow them in our uh, raw material section. I understand risk and I understand returns. And I used my, uh, both my financial background and uh, my uh, understanding the, the, the business opportunity and worked my way around to get to solicit and work for, looking for finance. With this kind of investment, it's a very capital-intensive investment, but the process is clear and simple and yet profitable. Our design or our model is not, not only to just make a profit or not only to uh, put the grain here and mill it. We have concepts that we believe are uh, uh, for our culture. We believe in milling grain and also, like for example, our innovation is in a lot in our marketing uh, because we engage the local communities, we engage the culture, the, their culture. We sometimes even brand the, the, the flag. In the name of, for example, the organizations that are doing any donations, for example, NGOs, we brand them, um, Saucy, donated by so and so. We believe in our innovation in terms of uh, delivery, this, delivering the service to the people. It's not only just milling the grain and taking it to the shop and waiting for people to buy. We are now a medium sized miller to industrial milling, but not only to offer people flour, but to offer them novelty uh, products that are more tasty, that are more friendly in terms of pricing, that have more better price and quality. So we intend to roll out countrywide and uh, we're working every day as hard as we can to be able to make sure that this product that we believe is superior reaches to every other region that deserve it. And by so doing, we uh, look forward to employing as many people as possible. As a young person, we believe that uh, the, the youth people, the youthful people must take up the mantle and go into more manufacturing, more industrial, and use the skills that they have to make sure that they be able to progress this country to the next level.